Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I did a really like, Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for this week's makeup vlog. Uh, no, 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 no. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm sure you all remember from my Ulta haul video, but I got the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette and I finally was able to film a look for you all. So I'm labeling this look Sunset Serenade because it's really orangey, reddish um, colors in the palette. It's really pretty. They also have a bit of purple in it too. So add a little zing to the look as well. I use the Stila Magnificent Metals um, eyeshadow and glitter, which I also picked up from Ulta last week as well. So, if you like this look, and if you like me, then stay tuned. Diving right in. So in order to create really clean lines for this look, I'm going to use tape and just position the tape where I want. In order to make sure that the shadows really pop, I'm going to use NYX eyeshadow base and put it all over my brow bones, all the way down to my eyelids. Yay, and now I'm gonna go in with the Naked Heat palette. So the first shadow I'm going to use in my crease is Sauce as a transition color. And for my second transition color, I'm going to go in with Blow Blow. For my lid, I'm going to go in with the color He Devil and put this all across my lid, all the way from the inner corner to the out. The next color I'm going in with is Dirty Talk, and I'm going to put that all over my middle of my eyelid. And I'm not going to go all the way out to my outer corner. I'm going to just stick to the middle of my eyelid. For my outer corner, I'm going to go in with the color En Fuego. <laughs> I like that name. And just create a darker transition from my outer V to my crease. Next for my inner corner, I'm gonna go in with the color Umber. For my outer corner, I'm going to go in with the color Ashes, which is a dusky purple, and just deepen that outer corner even more. And to really intensify the look, I'm going to wet my brush and go in with the color Dirty Talk and go over my middle of my eyelid and just make sure that pigment really pops. And for my brown... For my brow bone, I'm going to go in with Sauced again and just line up my brows. And just go over that with Low Blow again. I am lining my eyes with the Tardis Black Gel Liner. And the tape is going to allow me to get a really clean wing look and also a really thick wing, which I have trouble with, as you all know. So I'm just going to go in and follow the line, basically. And to darken the liner even further, I'm going to go in with the Seraphim Botanicals Liquid Coal Liner. And that's just going to map out the liner even more and give it a really defined wing. Now that I've removed the tape, I'm just going to clean it up a bit with the Tarte Concealer in Tan and just create a really clean line and then just blend it out.
finishing up the rest of my face, I'm going in with the Old Eva Goody Cover FX Contour Kit in N Deep. And I'm going to use the color N60 for my highlight, so my nose, my, under my eyes, my forehead. And then for contour, I'm going to go in with the color N120 and just carve out my cheekbones, my jawline, and my nose, and then blend it out. And of course I'm just going to set that highlight with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I don't really bake with this as you all know, I really just put it on and then I almost immediately um, brush it right off. and I'm brushing it off with my Maybelline foundation powder in coconut. And to heighten that highlight, I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Makeup Shayla palette and just brighten and deepen the contour of my face. finish under my eyes, I'm going in with the Stila Magnificent Metals Liquid Eyeshadow in the color Gold Goddess. Taking a really thin brush, I'm just going to trace the line of my lower lash line all the way, including my inner corner. I've already waterlined my eyes, so basically the glitter is just going on top of that. And lastly, just to deepen the look, I am going to go in with Dirty Talk and put that in my lower lash line. And then go in once more with He Devil and put that on my lower lash line as well. And for lashes, I'm going in with my Eyelor lashes. And just finishing up with some mascara to make sure it all sticks together, both lower and upper lashes. For my cheeks, I'm going in with the Hikari Shimmer Bronzer Flush and I'm only using the two light pink colors of the flush to give myself a little bit of blush. And For highlight, I'm using Dose of Colors in the color Sun Kiss and to amplify the highlight I'm going to use some Mario Badescu spray water and just wet my brush and go in with that highlight and really make sure that it pops. Lastly for lips I am going to line my lips with MAC in the color Chestnut and I'm gonna go in with my Milani lipstick in the color Matte Passion. So 
so that concludes the look i'm really happy with how it turned out this was kind of a first for me working with these kind of colors like i don't really go gravitate towards like oranges and reds and i mean i love a good purple but like this was like a dusky purple and you wouldn't think that like reds and purples go together but it did and i'm really happy that i decided to throw a bunch of glitter at the bottom and not usually use it on my eyes or like the inner corner like i usually do i decided to make this like my under eye treatment and pair it with the milani bright orange lipstick and I don't usually gravitate towards orange lipstick. Try to avoid orange because I feel like it's gonna pick it up in the undertones of my skin. But I kind of like it. I think it really pops. So if you like this video this week and if you like me, then you know what to do. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Leave some comments. Um, leave some suggestions for like future videos that you want to see. Um, just show some love basically. So thank you everyone and see you next week.